Well, spring is just around the corner, and while many may be planning to get some much-needed spring cleaning done, it's also a good time to refresh your mental health. And here to tell us more is Debbie Opoku, a registered psychotherapist. Good morning, and thank you very much for joining us. So, okay, you know, we're trying to advance the talk about mental health. Mm -hmm. Why spring? You tell, tell us about this. So <laughs> spring is on the horizon, as you know, and I know that, you know, this winter wasn't horrible, but it was winter nonetheless. So less daylight, uh, cold weather. Spring, when you think about it, brings that uh, time for refreshing, time for decluttering, time for renewal. And if we think about that in our homes and decluttering our homes and in our gardens, taking out the weeds, we do the same thing with our mental health, which is really, really important to remember that we can't neglect our mental health. So thinking about clearing out the cobwebs <laughs> physically and mentally and how important that is for our mental health. Okay, so what are some tips in order to get that done, to make sure that we actually do that and do it right? The first thing I would say is to declutter the negative thoughts. Now, I know we hear that all the time. <laughs> we hear that all the time. But think about how important that is. Negative thoughts hold us down. Negative thoughts promote depression and anxiety. So if we can change our mindset to thinking about the positive instead of the negative, can you imagine how much we can get done, how much our thoughts would change and our feelings and our behaviors? Maybe it's decluttering by journaling your negative thoughts, getting them out of your head, right? Maybe it's thinking about the things that bring you joy instead of the things that don't bring you joy. That would be one of the things that I would suggest, getting rid of those negative thoughts. Something else I would suggest is the routines, <laughs> okay? Routines, we all have them. Routines are very, very grounding. They help promote our mental health, good mental health. So whether or not it is about um, waking up at a certain time and meditating, whether it is maybe on a Saturday morning, you go out and jog, or Sunday you go out for brunch, or evenings you wind down, keep to a routine, because they help to promote your mental health and help to really stimulate that grounding essence that we need during springtime, and any time of year, actually. Yeah, when it comes to routine, talk about the importance of having a seasonal routine, you know, mm. shaking off the, okay, it's wintertime, we want to stay in. Although this was a, a pretty mild winter. Wasn't bad, yeah. Um, so coming up with a routine where we actually embrace the sunlight, talk about that. So daylight savings time happened, right? We lost an hour of sleep, and that really does affect folks. But if you think about it, we get an extra hour of sunlight. We get more sunlight. Take advantage of that sunlight. There are many research reports that support the fact that therapy, light therapy, is very, very, very beneficial for mental health, for depression, for anxiety. So if it means getting out and taking a walk, enjoying that extra hour of sunlight, if it means if you can't get out, you know, if you're working, sitting by a window and experiencing the light, very, very important to really help stimulate what we need to promote and encourage us to really think about the positives. So that would go along with thinking about positive instead of negative thoughts. Debbie, what can people, can parents do with, with younger kids mm -hmm. to get them in the habit of, you know, thinking about their mental health, um, especially as we go into spring? Absolutely. Get outside. Get outside. I know we can be tired as parents to take our kids outside, but enjoy that extra sunlight. Right? Enjoy the exercise. Like, keep to a routine so that they understand that routines are very important and keeps you grounded. But get them outside. Promote that. Get outside. Enjoy. Walk. Run. Get your bikes. Get cycling. It's so, so important for your mental health. For okay. Everyone. The big message as we head into spring when it comes to your mental health, get outside. Enjoy that sunlight. Yes. Debbie Opoku, registered psychotherapist. Thank you very much for Thank joining you. us.